Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist here at Fonz and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the pieces and blocks for the quilt called A Visit to the Farm. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. As you can see in the quilt behind me, the center of the quilt is made with what we call a snowball block and then we have kind of a floating white inner border and an outside edge that looks kind of like a fence, almost like you might find on the farm. So we're going to be starting with these five inch pre-cut squares of farm prints and then we're all going to match up with that uh, white fabric. So what we're going for in the center are blocks that look like this. These aren't quite finished yet, there's a little trimming to do, but let's see the construction. We've got the five inch pre-cut square. We're taking four white small squares. Follow your instructions for the number and the size on these blocks. But what you want to do is take a straight edge and your favorite marking tool. Now it kind of depends if you were to change the colorway and you're going to use a dark fabric, you need something that will write on a dark fabric. Here I can use a dark pen on the white background and I'm going to mark corner to corner across my block. And you would go ahead and go down through all of the small squares that you're going to be using for this quilt and mark them all in the same way. Then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and first we're going to make sure that we align this properly so that it goes into a corner and you're sewing from outer edge to outer edge. You don't want to place it this way because then you'd be sewing into the interior of the block. So just remember from outer edge to outer edge. And then as we move it to the sewing machine, we want to make sure that we keep those outer edges aligned right over the top of each other. And the line that we drew is our sewing line, so we can mark, we can stitch just diagonally right across the block. Okay. Once we get it stitched, we can take it to the iron and heat set that. And that means that we're going to just warm up those fibers so that they'll embed in each other and create a nice flat product and then we're going to open it out so that it covers the piece and bring it to the outer edge. Use the weight of the iron to open up that seam all the way. And you'll repeat that process all the way around. When you have them all on, at some point you want to come back and use the scissors or you can use your rotary cutter, but a scissors, since this is a short distance across, we're going to trim away the excess fabric underneath. We don't need to really worry about an exact quarter inch because the seaming and that's all done already. So we're going to reduce the bulk and have that done uh, trimmed there. So in this case, I would go back and trim all four of these corners underneath. So we just have one layer of fabric. We don't need that extra bulk in the, in the blocks. So make the desired number for, of the snowballs for the center of your quilt. The next thing we need to do is once you've assembled that, you're going to be making those pieces that go in that inner border. And the outside corners are made with triangle squares like this. And those are then also cut from the five inch uh, pre-cut. The nice part about using a, a pre-packaged set like this is all the colors you get the, a little bit from each of the fabrics in the collection. So you don't have to go purchasing a whole bunch of yardage. You're going to be cutting a three and seven eighths inch square from your five inch square so everything matches and then you're going to be cutting that um, square in half so I've got one I can lay out here so you can see that this was a square it's cut in half you're actually cutting down to triangles because you only need four we're having you actually cut pieces like this and then matching up each of these with a white square same size and seaming them together. Not too often do we actually have you cutting triangles and then putting them together, but it's a good way to learn that skill, not to stretch those pieces, to lay them under the, under the machine, put a quarter inch seam right here, and then when you open, press towards a darker fabric. So that's a very traditional method, but like I said, since we're only making four of them, I think you pretty much can handle that. Good practice of working with bias edges. Then the last thing you need for that outer border are pieces that look like this. There are two different combinations here. If you notice, the white is in the outside edge of this one. It's kind of a rail fence block, and the white is in the center of this block. The instructions will tell you how many of your leftover pieces you need to cut into one and a half by three and a half. So you're going to take some bars off of it, and you're going to 
then have a stack of various prints in the small bar, and you also need the white, and then you make the desired number. It'll tell you how many of um, each style to make. So you go ahead and just join those pieces together with a simple quarter inch seam, making sure that you stop to press as you put one on one side, go and press the seam towards the, usually towards the darker, so towards the print, and then add the third um, bar, and you have pieces that look like this. Once you get all of your pieces and parts created, then it's time to lay out your quilt. So then it's just to basically follow the diagrams and the instructions, put together the center portion of the quilt, add inner board, first inner borders, pieced outer borders, and then a final white border with a wonderful navy blue finish on the binding. If you'd like to see more of our quilting quickly tutorials, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.